Earlier in the video, we demonstrated how the design and building tools in Chief Architect can be used for kitchen design. Let's explore the additional tools to create this custom bath suite. With the shape of the rooms in place, I'll use the 3D Perspective Overview Camera for a top-down view. I'll click on the floor and name the room a bath and customize the room name to Bath Suite. The floor material has changed to a style I defined in my bathroom defaults. To create this bath vanity, I'll begin by placing a base cabinet. The cabinet I placed is using the default styles that I have already defined for this room. I'll click and drag to resize the cabinet to 60 inches. In the cabinet dialog, I'll set the width, depth, and toe kick height. If you are planning to use cabinet legs, the toe kick height will determine the leg height. Next, I'll change the cabinet box construction to framed. On the front side's back panel, I'll click on the double door and change the face item to a drawer. Then at the top of the face items, use the split vertical, move down to the first vertical layout, use the split vertical again, then return to the top, level horizontal layout, and equalize these new face items. Finally, I will use Add New to create an opening face item and set the height to 10 and a half inches. For the opening, I'll specify a custom shelf by manually setting the number to one and the spacing to be at the bottom of the opening. From the library, I'll choose a custom slatted shelf. Then I'll remove the automatically generated separations. When I close the dialog, you can see the progress as I rotate around the cabinet. Let me return to the dialog and complete the customizations. On the Accessories panel, I'll choose a simple straight leg for the foot. Notice there is an option for the foot to retain the toe kick. Next, I'll add a matching front pilaster, set the width, and have it extend to the bottom. On the exposed right side of the cabinet, I'll add an end panel by changing the side to a custom face and replacing the blank area with an inset side panel, and remove the separations. My default door style is a slab. I'll replace the door panel by browsing through the library catalog, locating a new style, and clicking to apply it. Then I'll add a sink and faucet. For the sink, I'll browse through the library for a manufacturer's product and select this vessel style. The program warns me about the drawers with the vessel sink. It's okay for the style of the vanity I'm designing. In the floor plan, I'll position the sink exactly, and then place a single handle faucet. Using the wall elevation camera, I'll click and drag through the wall. Then I'll slide the cabinet near the wall, and from the library, I will add an LED-style mirror that was downloaded from the Chief Architect 3D Library. Once positioned, I'll copy the mirror, faucet, and vanity cabinet using the Copy and Reflect About tool to the other side of the room. Now I'll place a freestanding tub. Using the product name, I'll search for the tub and then place it in the center of the room. For the tub filler, again I'll use the search and then place and position the filler in the floor plan view for precise placement and adjust the tub away from the wall. Back in the wall elevation, I'll use the automatic NKBA, or National Kitchen and Bath Association, dimension tool. I'll select the dimension, and using the added diamond, I'll drag it onto the tub filler. I notice it's picking up the center of the fixture. In this case, I'll draw a CAD line for the water source location, drag the dimension point from the faucet to the line, and then toggle the extension to the center line style. For wall materials, I'll add a chair rail in both the shower and bath areas. Holding my shift key, 
Click in both rooms, then use the open object. On the molding panel, I'll make a copy of the base molding, change the type to a chair rail, then adjust the width, height, and offset from the floor. With the material eyedropper, I'll pick up the tile from the shower niche and apply into the two rooms. For the shower, I'll open the room dialog and remove the base molding. Then browse to the library and find the tile to apply to the room. For the main bath, I'll open the room and apply a wall covering by again browsing to the library and locating a material and setting the height just below the chair rail. On average, creating this entire scene would take a Chief Architect user less than an hour. To learn how to create this ceiling, please see the ceiling section of this video.